It's there at celebrations, social gatherings, and even quiet evenings at home. For many, it's a social lubricant, a way to unwind, a symbol of celebration. But behind the clinking glasses and laughter lies a silent threat, a danger often overlooked in the haze of good times. Alcohol's impact on the brain. We know alcohol affects how we think and act, often in ways we regret later. But beyond the immediate intoxication, alcohol embarks on a destructive journey within our brains, leaving a trail of damage that can last a lifetime. This isn't about being a teetotaler. It's about understanding the science, recognizing the risks, and making informed choices about our health. This is the story of alcohol's impact on the most complex organ in our body, the command center that dictates everything from our thoughts and emotions to our memories and movements. It's a story that needs to be told, understood, and taken seriously. Because when it comes to alcohol, what we don't know can hurt us, silently and irreversibly. Imagine alcohol as an unwelcome guest at a sophisticated party, your brain. This guest doesn't follow the rules, disrupts the delicate balance, and eventually spoils the atmosphere for everyone. When alcohol enters your bloodstream, it doesn't need an invitation to the brain. It easily crosses the blood-brain barrier, a protective shield that filters out harmful substances. Once inside, it begins its work, interfering with the brain's communication pathways. Alcohol disrupts the delicate balance of neurotransmitters, the chemical messengers that carry signals throughout the brain. It first targets GABA, an inhibitory neurotransmitter that slows things down, creating a sense of relaxation and reducing anxiety. This explains the initial feeling of calmness and euphoria associated with alcohol consumption. As alcohol continues to flow, the party in your brain takes a turn for the worse. Remember, alcohol is an uninvited guest with no off switch. It doesn't just stop at enhancing relaxation. It starts hindering the functions that keep your brain buzzing. One of alcohol's next targets is glutamate, an excitatory neurotransmitter responsible for learning and memory. By suppressing glutamate, alcohol slows down brain activity, leading to slurred speech, impaired coordination, and delayed reaction time. That's why driving under the influence is so dangerous. Your brain simply can't keep up with the demands of the road. And as the party rages on inside you, alcohol disrupts other vital functions. It impairs decision-making by interfering with the prefrontal cortex, the brain's executive center. This explains why people often make impulsive and risky choices under the influence of alcohol. Choices they would never make sober. Section 4. Scars that never fade. What was once a night of temporary fun can leave a lasting mark, like an unwelcome souvenir from a trip gone wrong. The more frequent and heavier the drinking, the greater the risk of permanent brain damage. Long-term alcohol abuse can lead to a condition known as Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome characterized by severe memory problems, confusion, and difficulty with coordination. This condition is often caused by a deficiency in thiamine, a nutrient crucial for brain health that gets depleted by excessive alcohol consumption. But the damage doesn't stop there. Alcohol can also shrink the brain, particularly the frontal lobes responsible for higher-order thinking, planning, and decision-making. This shrinkage can lead to cognitive decline, personality changes, and difficulty controlling emotions. Section 5. Echoes of Choices Past. Take the case of Emily, a pseudonym for a patient I've treated. Once a vibrant and successful lawyer, Emily's life took a downturn due to alcohol addiction. Years of heavy drinking had taken a toll on her brain, leaving her with significant memory impairment and difficulty concentrating. Emily struggled to remember simple details, follow conversations, and even perform basic tasks. Her once sharp legal mind had become clouded her brilliance dimmed by the toxic effects of alcohol. This is a stark reminder that alcohol's impact extends far beyond the individual. It affects families, careers, and entire communities. And it's not just extreme cases like Emily's that should raise concern. Even moderate alcohol consumption can have long-term consequences, especially if it starts early in life. Studies have shown that teenagers who drink regularly are more likely to experience problems with learning, memory, and attention later in life. Section 6. The Unforgiving Truth. The brain is a remarkable organ, capable of some degree of self-repair. But when it comes to alcohol-related damage, the truth is harsh. What's lost is often lost forever. While the brain can recover to some extent from the immediate effects of alcohol intoxication, the long-term damage caused by chronic abuse can be irreversible. The shrunken brain cells, damaged neural pathways, and impaired communication networks. 
These are the scars that alcohol can leave behind, forever altering the landscape of your mind. This isn't meant to instill fear, but rather to highlight the seriousness of the issue. We need to move past the myths and misconceptions surrounding alcohol and confront the reality of its impact on our most vital organ. We need to prioritize brain health just as we do with our heart, lungs, and other vital organs. Section 7, a toast to a healthier tomorrow. The good news is that we have the power to make choices that protect our brains. It starts with awareness, with understanding the risks and making informed decisions about our alcohol consumption. Moderation is key. For healthy adults, that means up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men. But moderation isn't just about quantity. It's about being mindful of how often and why we drink. Is it becoming a crutch, a way to cope with stress or difficult emotions? If so, it's time to reevaluate our relationship with alcohol. Let's raise a toast, not to another round, but to a future where we prioritize our brain health. Let's choose knowledge over ignorance, awareness over denial, and moderation over excess. Let's make choices that allow our brains to thrive, not just survive. Because when we protect our brains, we protect our memories, our emotions, our very essence. We protect the essence of who we are.